I mean, there's nothing that makes me more happy than to move a chess piece. It's like you have the piece and you put it on the square and like take the other piece, like, ciao. It feels so relieving. It's like, yeah. <laughs> Tanatalua Emmanuel Adewumi, born September 3, 2010, is a Nigerian-American chess player who currently holds the title of Fide Master FM. A chess prodigy, he won the 2019 K3 New York State Chess Championship at the age of 8 after playing the game for only a year while living with his refugee family in a homeless shelter in Manhattan. Tanataluwa is the son of Kyode James Adewumi, born June 24, 1976, Kitty, Nigeria, and Oluwatoyin Kubrit Adewumi, born June 16, 1981, Kitty. He has a brother, Adesina Austin, who is seven years older. Kyode used to run a print shop in the Nigerian capital, Abuja, with 13 employees, and Oluwatoyin used to work as an accountant. The family is devoutly Christian and was threatened with violence by the Islamist terrorist organization Boko Haram. In June 2017, they left Nigeria for the United States and sought religious asylum. Philip Fally, a pastor in Queens, New York, gave them temporary accommodation, and connected them with the New York City Department of Homeless Services. They were given a place to stay in a homeless shelter in Manhattan. Kiyode took work as a dishwasher and as an Uber driver in a rented car and Oluwatoyin as a cleaner. And Tanataluwa enrolled in elementary school PS. 116. Career. Austin taught Tanataluwa a chess-like game called, Latter, using a homemade board and pieces made from Play-Doh. Sean Martinez, the head chess coach of PS 116, introduced students to the game. Tanataluwa immediately took to it and wanted to join a club run by 1700-rated coach Russell Makovsky. That would have been expensive, the $330 fee included not only the cost of running the club, but also such things as entries to tournaments, travel, and accommodation. When Adewumi's mother told Makovsky of the family's financial situation, he waived the fee. In early 2018, Adewumi, who had been assigned the lowest estimated rating of 105, played in his first tournament. A year later, he had accumulated seven trophies. His coaches were impressed by his dedication and hard work and by the progress he had made since starting as a novice. On March 9-10, 2019, he competed in the 52nd Annual New York State Scholastic Championships Kindergarten 3rd Grade Division in Saratoga Springs, New York. He was seeded 8th in a field of 74 with an ELO rating of 1473, more than 200 behind the top-rated players. Some of the contestants were from well-to-do families who could afford private coaches. He won the event outright with a score of 5.56, 5 wins, 1 draw, no losses. His style of play is aggressive, his coaches were shocked when in his fourth game he sacrificed a bishop for a pawn, which was the best move according to a chess engine. On May 1, 2021, at only 10 years old, Adewumi crossed the 2200 ELO rating threshold needed to achieve the official USCF title of National Master, making him the 28th youngest chess player in history ever to do so. In August, he won the under-12 division of the North American Youth Chess Championship with a score of 8 ninths. He became a FIDE master, having surpassed a FIDE rating of 2,100 in November 2021. In April 2022, he scored 7.09 in the New York Spring Invitational Norm event, earning his first IM Norm. Reception and media. In 2019, the story of his winning the New York Scholastics was reported by Nicholas Christoph in the New York Times, and rapidly attracted national and international attention both inside and outside the chess world. Agadmata, a leading YouTube chess streamer, published an analysis of Adewumi's only available game from the tournament. Gary Kasparov, former world chess champion, praised this achievement by a refugee immigrant. Bill Clinton, former U.S. president, invited him to visit him in his office in Harlem, New York, and he did. Abike Dabiri, senior special assistant on foreign affairs and diaspora to Nigerian President Mohamedou Buhari, called him a pride to the nation. On March 30, 2019, he visited the St. Louis Chess Club in Missouri, where the U.S. 
chess championship was then in progress, and played several friendly blitz, five minutes for each player games. His opponents including Hikaru Nakamura, GM, five-time US. Chess champion, Jennifer UW GM, 2019 US. Women's chess champion, and Fabiano Caruana, GM, who had challenged the title holder, Magnus Carlsen, for the World Chess Championship in November 2018, and was interviewed by Morris Ashley, the world's first black GM. His coaches set up a GoFundMe site shortly after the New York competition, with the target of raising $50,000 for the family by crowdfunding. It raised $254,000 in 10 days. Benefactors also offered non-monetary help, including accommodation, a car, academic scholarships, chess books, and pro bono, that is, free, assistance by immigration lawyers with their asylum application. They accepted one of the more modest offers of accommodation, declined the scholarship offers out of loyalty to PS 116, gave one-tenth of the donated money as a tithe to the church which had helped them, and put the rest into a 501 c. 3 trust called the Tanatalua Adawumi Foundation to help other children in similar circumstances. He has expressed an ambition to become the youngest ever chess grandmaster. Three film companies bid on the rights to his story, Paramount Pictures 1. A biography, My Name is Tani, was published on April 14, 2020. So this was one great guy who was proud of his faith, proud to show forth where he belonged, and proud to show who he believed in. So we use this opportunity to celebrate Tani Olua Adewumi, and we pray that God will continue to see him through and grant him success in all his endeavors. Thank you so much for watching. Talk to you soon.